Here we've got a, one of my favorite uh, uh, bed arrangements, you might call it. Um, you could call this Carrots Love Radishes. Now normally when we hear Carrots Love Radishes, people are talking about companion planting. And this is companion planting, but it's not companion planting for any kind of pest production. This is, this is companion planting to get more out of the same space and do it with less trouble. So check out what we got here. Here are some leeks. A lot of people don't grow leeks because they think it's too much trouble to dig trenches and you know, hill them and all that stuff, and I, I agree with them. Uh, so what I do, I do it a different way. I just go down the center of a bed here, and I jam a uh, broomstick into the ground and make myself a little hole about four inches deep, and then I drop the leek plants into the hole and go along with a watering can, and when I water the, the holes, they collapse around the leek, and that settles the leek, and it creates an initial white space on the leek before the leek even gets going. So it's a really great way to do, do leeks with, without much trouble. Now, of course, later in the season, you are going to want to pull some soil in from the side, but it's crazy to leave that bed open and have to take care of it for the whole season. So what I do is put a row of beets down one side and a row of carrots down the other side and grow those during the time when I don't need the soil to hill the leeks. But to make that as little trouble as possible, I put some radishes in with those carrots. That's what I mean when I say radishes love carrots, and carrots love radishes. Because you see here, these radishes are marking this row. Carrots are very slow to germinate. They're just starting right here. The radishes have already marked the row, which makes it easy for me to go in there and pull my stirrup hoe through there and get rid of the weeds right off. Because the sooner you get a weed, the easier it is. I started doing the same thing with beets just because I like radishes, and it does the same thing. You can see some little beet plants here, and here are the radish plants. Now let me show you what this looks like a month later down on this other bed. Okay, so here we have a month later. In this particular bed, uh, I didn't have any more leek plants, so I put uh, larger beets down the center because I like those, but it's the same principle. Two, two rows of carrots down the side. Here are the radishes. We've already harvested all the decent radishes out of here, and now we've got mostly bolted ones, but notice what happens when I pull the radishes. There are the carrots right there, okay? And they've got carrots all along here, and when I pull this radish, it actually yanks out some of the carrots, and that, that may seem like not such a good idea, but actually what it's doing is it's thinning the carrots, okay? So one job that nobody likes to do, which is thinning carrots, gets done automatically at the same time that we pick the radishes. Now, this gets even more interesting in terms of labor saving, and I'll show you that in a third bed that we've got down that way, because we've got three sets of this going at one time. Having multiple sets of a vegetable going keeps the production up over a longest possible season and therefore gets the most out of the space you're using and the time.